People often telephone us to ask how do I open my pinball machine and remove the glass? Well, it's no magical trick and in a few moments I'll show you how it's done. All Pinball Australia presents the Pinball Expert Show. Hello, I'm Mark Snyder, the founder of Pinball Expert. Removing the playfield glass is a simple procedure that's very similar on all makes of pinball machines. Here are the most common types. I'll demonstrate the glass removal on this Doctor Who. Open the door, pull the release handle to the left, stuff the glass moulding, set it aside, now slide the glass all the way down and completely off. Removal is that simple. Refit the glass, line it up in the channels. I like to put the left edge in first and then swing the right edge in. Support the glass always, don't ever let it hang when it's only in a short amount. Then gently slide it in, push it all the way up. Just keep your hand on it because it can slide off a bit. So just push it up. The glass moulding, put the two guides in the two slots. Push it down firmly, push the handle back to the right, shut the door. Now that we've covered the glass moulding and playfield glass removal, I just wanted to show you about playfields. Now once the glass is removed, place your hand down here and you can lift the playfield up. Now you can lift it up to about 45 degrees and there's a support stick in the bottom of the cabinet and a little cutaway groove there to sit the stick in and support the playfield, allowing you to work on it. Now you can also tilt the playfield back further, all the way back to the head. The balls will often fall out, but that's fine, and you can work on it there. Other games, the playfield, you can pull it out, and it's, there are slides in the cabinet, but they all have basically the same principle. Now for those uh, interested, I'll be moving on and showing you different types of glass moulding mechanisms and uh, using the coin doors of different makes and models to identify them. So for those of you interested in that, stay tuned. Pinball machines with the Bally coin door as seen here. Very simple. You can't see it but just here there's a release mechanism for the latch. Just move that handle to the left, lift the glass moulding off and again slide the glass down reverse again two little guides back in their grooves move the latch across to the right to lock again if you don't do that you won't be able to close the door that will cover ballet games up to about 1985 now there's one other belly type I wanted to cover. It's not really common, but worth mentioning. Same sort of door, although there was an earlier door that was different to this one. Um, again, as with all bellies, release mechanisms there. But the difference with this one is the entire glass comes off, not just the glass moulding. So I'll let you have a look at that. Take the whole glass off. Again, push that over to the right, and you're done. This type of coin door is found on Chicago coin and Stern electronic pinball machines from the early 70s to the early 1980s. Uh, they changed from Chicago coin to Stern electronics around about 1976. And release mechanism is release handles up here move to your left this one's spring loaded you have to hold it open and then you lift off the front glass molding these will stick a little bit 
they weren't the best quality mechanism ever put on a pinball, that's for sure. Now they did revise it in later games a little, made it a little better on games like Meteor, Galaxy, etc. But the way to open it's exactly the same. Alright, this type of coin door was found on Gottlieb games starting around about 1975 and running right through to the mid 80s. Um, they were the same on electromechanicals and electronics. Now the release handle's in the middle here at the top. You just grab that, pull down, and then you can lift off the glass moulding nice and easily. Put the two guides back in the slots and push up firmly. Again, if you don't push that up, you won't be able to close the door. Common feature that all pinball makers had certainly up until um, probably the 2000s. That's a good example. Make sure that's up firmly. There we go. Now this is uh, another Gottlieb coin door. Now this one fitted games from the 60s and into the early 70s up until around about 1974. Same procedure as the other Gottlieb type pull the arm down, lift the glass moulding off. These, instead of having two triangular square um, slots, they have two screws. And basically you guide them into two holes here. Push it down, and again, push up firmly. I always like to give them a little tap, and you're fine. Again, if you don't close it, uh, close the coin door properly. Now here we have a early 90s Gottlieb game. Again, very similar door to the Williams and Bally's and all other manufacturers were pretty much sharing doors by this time. Um, but they each retained their own individual glass moulding mechanism. Much like the other Gottliebs, in the middle at the top, pull it down to release, lift the glass moulding off, slide the glass down if you wish. To put it back in you put the two guides, there's two slots, very easy, push down, again push that back up and latch. Again if you don't latch it you can't close the door so you must push the release handle back up. Williams pinball machines from the 70s into the early mid 80s that have this type of coin door. Simply open the door, move the latch release to the left, lift off the glass moulding and then remove the glass completely desired. Slide the glass back on. Make sure these two go back in the slot, move the latch to the right, close the door. If you don't move the latch to the right, you won't be able to close the door, so you won't forget it. Now, as you can see, this is another Williams pinball. This is a uh, early mid 80s pinball. They went to a more generic door, but they retained the same moulding mechanism. Move the release arm over, lift the moulding off slide the glass down, as with all pinballs pretty well. Put them back in, put it back in, move over, close the door. Now that particular mechanism and door type there was essentially continued on right through until Williams Pinball ceased production in 1999. Now there's a few less common designs around, made on other ma manufacturers such as this Atari pinball, but essentially the release mechanism is the same. Atari's is here on the right, same procedure. Two screws, sort of similar to the Gottlieb one, just wider. pretty much any pinball you encounter you'll find uh, they all have a similar 
latch mechanism to release the front glass moulding. Now you will find there are a range of other brands of pinballs that are less common and um, less known. Uh, this Playmatic one, as you can see here, by the Playmatic, is essentially a copy of a Williams door. The, the way to open uh, this one is a copy of the Williams door. It was made in, uh, these were made in Italy or Spain, can't remember. And another note about the Williams type mechanism from uh, the 60s right through till the end of production 1999 the Williams um, moulding and the uh, latch mechanism to secure it remained exactly the same so for example you could take the moulding off a, a 1972 doodlebug pinball and and it will fit straight onto a, a you know late 90s game like junkyard or uh, no good gophers now here we have a 2016 Ghostbusters pinball from Stern Pinball. Now in the last few years Stern Pinball have moved away from their, or should I say abandoned, their traditional latch mechanism to hold the glass moulding down and uh, replaced it in favour of a, a rather cheap, still effective, uh, dual latch type strapping mechanism to hold the glass moulding down. There's two of these, one on each side. You lift each one up and then you flick the latch back and then you lift the glass moulding off as with all other games. You'll note the the hole there and there that's so that you can put the hook back in and strap it down. Even though you can't see it, it's easy enough to do. You just push it up, do both sides. Now I'll give you a look at this one from the inside so you know what it looks like. Okay then, now here we are in the inside the Ghostbusters pinball. Now I'm going to release the moulding from the front door. Well, that brings us to the end of this show. I hope you found it helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Suggestions for future videos are very welcome. And hit the like button and subscribe for future updates. I'm Mark Snyder. Thank you for watching. The Pinball Expert Show is produced by All Pinball Australia.